What's up guys, Jared here, and I've been playing around with the new Android N developer preview, so let's check out some of the coolest features to look forward to. The first one I wanted to talk about is the new split screen feature. So let's say you're in an app but want to split screen with another app, you simply long press the recent tasks button and select the app of your choice from the list. Now once selected, the two apps will split screen and from there you can use the resizing bar to adjust the window of each app. Another method is from the home screen. So you simply tap the recent tasks button, then long press on the app of your choice and drag it to the top of the screen. And of course from there you can select the second app to split screen with. And if you wanted to make a particular app go full screen, you simply drag the resizing bar either all the way to the top or all the way to the bottom, or even long press the recent tasks button once more and it'll resize the top app to full screen. Now additionally, by double tapping the recent tasks button, you can cycle between the current or last two apps used, which I know I'll find handy pretty often. Now next up is dark mode, or as it's called in Android N, night mode. Now as long as you have system UI tuner enabled, you can jump into the new color and appearance settings and then into night mode. And from here, you can enable or disable as well as turn on and off the tint if you prefer the look of that. And while we're still in color and appearance, you might have noticed that we can calibrate the display's colors with RGB sliders, which is pretty damn awesome. Uh, now another really cool new feature is something that I haven't been seeing a lot of sites or videos covering, and that's drag and drop text. So for instance, in split screen mode, I can type some text in Google Keep, long press on it and then drag it on over to Google Hangouts. Now, keeping in mind it's still in beta stages, it's a little shaky at the moment and sometimes doesn't work at all and only with certain apps, but it's still super cool nevertheless. The notifications pull down has had a bit of a redesign and now lets you view even more content at a glance than before by expanding them like you normally do. And half swiping in either direction or long pressing a notification gives you some additional options. But I think the real candy in the newly designed pull down menu is the quick toggles. And before anyone leave the comment saying they copied Samsung or Google copied Samsung, I just wanted to point out how incorrect that statement is. Google Eve essentially copied from custom ROM developers. Quick toggles at the top of the pull down have been around for many, many years. Anyways, moving on. So we've got these quick toggles, pretty sweet. But what dictates which quick toggles will live at the top are the first two rows of toggles that appear when you do the double pull down or two finger pull down. Whatever. And of course, you can edit which toggles you want showing and rearrange them how you like them. But there's now an additional page for even more toggles, though I'm not sure how many pages Google's gonna give us, considering there's just enough toggles to almost fill the second page. Resizing the display is now an option, and it's a pretty well implemented method that lets you use a slider to adjust from the smallest setting to allow for more content to fit on the screen to the largest for folks that are a little vision impaired. And the last cool feature I wanted to talk about is the settings menu. So you'll notice for the most part things look pretty familiar, but take a second look and you'll see additional information under each settings category. So at a glance you can quickly see things like how much data has been used, how many apps are installed, how much memory is being used, and so on. And I think this is a pretty cool and innovative idea. And what's more is that when you're in a category you get this little hamburger menu button to slide out the settings menu list saving you at least a tap, which I thought was pretty dope. Now all that being said, there's a bunch of other really great improvements and cool new features, but I didn't want the video to run too long. So this was just a list of some of the coolest things that stood out to me. But what about you guys? Which are your favorite features? Let me know in the comments, but that's it for this one. Hopefully you liked the video. Uh, if you did, shoot me some love and tap that like button. And if you're new to my stuff, don't forget to subscribe for more soon. Thanks as always for watching, and I'll talk to you all in the next one. Cheers.